of super massive. As we're, of course, playing at long range, so we can just fish with those bubbles. So in a clean 5v5, it feels like Mad Lions have a lot more tools to dish out that damage, but will they be even be able to get in range against the likes of a Zoe and an Ezreal? Something that we have to keep our eyes on. Laying down vision, trying to figure out exactly where Kakao is looking to start. But meanwhile, Kakao's got a plan of his own as he invades on the top side. Will he drop some vision of his own? Is the side of Bo Lulu will be a difficult few minutes. Yeah, shout out going to topside camp since he cleared Krugs twice before he reset himself for his first back does mean that it's super massive that get first access into the dragon since their jungler's on bot side. Kaiser being very respectful that Shadow was cross map, can't just face check into river, um, despite the fact that the support was first down there, and now it's a good infernal for super massive. Yeah, solid, really like very it. much owned by Armut at this point as he does have the 15 CS advantage. But we got our question answered, Dracos. You know, what was Humano going to do with this wave when he tried to freeze it? No, he hard pushes it to join Lilia, and here they go. The Graves, but Shen now coming in. Shadow's going to be in trouble here. Kakao flashing out over the wall. Humanoid, though, going to try to continue. Humanoid desperately trying to find the kill, and it looks like they are going to be able to Ooh. grab one. That's going to be first blood. Or now coming in, Armut next on the list. However, Bolulu getting caught out over the wall. Shadow has to play this one safe. He's very squishy. Bolulu going to snipe away the big frog there. Happy to have a bit of extra money, even happier to have a few extra flashes. Is playing this one slow. Rome is still quite tanky. He's going to use the searing charge out to safety. Second flash now used Gotta by watch Bolu. out for the bubble. Gonna flash not nearly oh no. time soon. Unstoppable for now. The nice. flash out from Rome. Well played mechanically. Humanoid picks up Herald. Or excuse me, Shadow picks up Herald. And Humanoid walks back to his lane just in time. And that's the good news. The bad news is, meanwhile, on the bot side, Kakao is trying to put in some work here. Karzi, though, catching him out. Kakao still very squishy overall. Kaiser going to the backside. Kakao dashes over the wall. Kaiser flashes and finishes it off. A little support will combat, but Snowflower, where are you going to oh, go? You no. can't flash over the wall, too. Two quick kills picked up by Mad. Lions, Supermassive had a play in their minds, but it is Mad Lions. Whatever version of Relic Shield it is. Not the crab. And Rome is going to be robbed. Poor Rome. Everyone else on the team doing good, but Rome cannot catch a break. Has to play it safe on the Bellas Breath. Has to wait for the opportunity to try to get away. He's a sleepy Ram God, but now he's a dead one. Cow grabs the kill. Does it get a medal or does it get a report after the game? It's unclear at this point. We're going to have to wait to see. Like I said, Dracos, the only difference between a tank and an inter is the follow-up that your team provides you. That's true. All right, Engage now coming in. Kaiser, is he a tank or is he an inter? For now, it looks like Kakao trying to fire back, but Kaiser's still quite tanky. The TP's now coming in. The rest of the team is trying to dash out. Humanoid, though, could be in trouble. Big damage comes in for the Coaling. Supermassive, not going to get Massive much there. stuck in this handshake of that potential mid lane break coming through. The Herald goes down, and now Mad Lion's trying to find something. Committing. Still Cloud, though, going to be in trouble. Big ulti coming in from Shenny, trying to buy a bit more time so Armo can join the fight. Kakao waiting on the backside, but he's already given up on this one. They know this is not their fight to win. Humanoid stepping away, but no. Bolulu finding the kill. Zai not ready to rain hell from across the wall, but they are going to pull away. That's going to be one sleepy Shen, but they don't really have the damage fall up here right now. Maybe they do. Armut is going to be in trouble, and Karzi is going to grab that one. The power of the Senna to finish that out. Uh, hasty for Supermassive. They're not as strong as I would have expected them to be at this point, but they're going to try to rush it anyway. Get it done. I don't know, but if he can find a way into the back line, he will do a lot of damage. Titanic Shen is very strong on one item, but if he just keeps getting zoned away like this, it's going to be trouble. But no, Arome caught out. Arome oh, not no! quite going to get taken down. The Ezreal does not connect. That's a sleepy Forge God, but they cannot follow up. Uh, Zytnaut's ultimate just so close to taking down Arome. Uh, if fine. he's a good boy, as Supermassive now looking to collapse here. Shadow has to be careful here, because... Alti oh. can come out as well. The immediate chance he's the Ezreal up across the backside. Shadow now has to run for his life. That's one fast fawn, but not nearly fast enough. Elmer Fudd going to find the kill. Uh, damage is limited there to a certain degree. But Kakao and Snowflower now moving in. Snowflower jumping into the backside. They're trying to turn the fight, but Zoe's nowhere in the area. However, neither is Karzi. That's going to be big. Alti going across, though. That semi-global presence. Eyes on Arome. Where's the all going to go? Fishing for Zeitnot, but instead will have to settle for Snowflower. Ormut now pushed back. Humanoid now stepping forward. Big damage coming in from the Lucian, but Bolulu finds the pick onto Karzi. That's going to be massive. Kakao now moving in. The flash stolen away, and Supermassive will get one back in exchange. Mad Lions have to be careful here. Zoe already with a picked up flash can wreak a lot of havoc. Rome taking big damage. Sleepy Trump Bubble is going to connect using the stolen flash. Shen now on the way in. Supermassive just looking to extend this fight. Still have to be careful though. Humanoid with all sums available, but Mad Lions not looking to extend it themselves, just backing off. Massive does not have a lot of vision around this Drake. General vision around the pit. So they have to be careful about how they pick this fight. But Poke coming in from Bolulu. That's going to be a two person sleep. Lock up on Armut. They're just going to pick the Shen off at the start of the fight. That is massive. Humanoid now laying down the Coling. Good damage being thrown back. Bolulu trying to fire back in return, but Mad Lion should now have uncontested access to this Mountain Drake. And one of the things about the Lily is that 
When you're behind, her utility does not feel very powerful, but when you're ahead, hold that thought. We've got a flank coming in. Kakao potentially caught in no man's land, though. Armut still fishing for the taunt there. Eyes on Humanoid. Where is he going to go? No cleanse oh, available. Means he can't get locked up, but Armut now going to be in trouble. Clean footwork coming in from Humanoid, laying down the damage, but all of Supermassive looking to clap. Bolu over the wall, and that is massive. Priority access now. Wait, Ezra Ulti. Sinon looking for the snipe. Humanoid, not AFK, does not even blink inches from his face, but super massive. Now they've got access to the bear, and this is perfect timing. Shadow is nowhere to be seen. Mad Lions points. have to respond. Humanoid does not have a TP of his own. We see Mad Lions give up their lives to deny these Baron attempts in the past, but super massive, they're not pulling off this time. They want to come in. They're split on the decision. There's too many members caught in the pit. Shadow's going to start doing so much damage over the wall. 2K getting lower and lower. Can they secure it? A Romain's taking down Snowflower. It's a messy fight. Who's going to finish it in the end? Shadow manages to find it, and that is massive, super massive. Three members sleeping. The Zoe goes back over the wall, but Mad Lions walk away with the Baron and Shadow. They don't have the best sieging tools. It's pretty much just Senna. And uh, Lucian can step forward, but it is always going to be risky to do so. Big ulti now coming in. Zaynot has been marked. Zaynot will be sleepy, but the team is there to body block. It's going to cleanse the last possible second. But Mad Lions, their main objective being the tower, they're still going to get it. And Cannon Minion, there to body block the sleep. Perfectly timed in the end. Minion's coming to save the day for Mad Lions, but big damage now going on. Kaiser's going to be in trouble. Kakao looking for the flank off to the side, but he's not the Hecarim. He does not have easy access into the back line. Well, look at the heals from Karzy. Oh, the Swirl Seed thrown out, as well as the Snare coming out from Karzy, but now Kaiser moving in. Hex Flash over the wall. Orin Ultimate, and they're all moving into the pinch. This is disastrous. Now, three targets sleep. They've locked up multiple members. Sight not isolated off to the backside. This looks like a one fight for the Mad Lions. Super massive pulling back, but the wave in mid lane means that Mad Lions have priority access to the base, to the inhibitor, and could look to end the game. Armut, oh no, that's insult oh. to injury. Shadow just looking to stop these backs as Mad Lions can start to push in. Like you said, Dracos, it's a Shadow that's zoning away all of the rest of Supermassive. Maybe they pick up the fawn? It's a fast fawn, though. The cow procs the phase rush, it's but it doesn't look like... Completely forcing him out of the fight. Shadow has stopwatch. This is going to be very difficult. But it will be much easier if Armut's there. The immediate taunt, the immediate follow-up. He can't try to stopwatch. The team going to throw the shield across the top. And of course, he can stop himself from getting hit by it. The flash does not work for them. Super massive. Can't look to find the flight. But Romain comes over the wall. And the Ornn is strong. The knock will not connect. But Snowflower will still go down. His ulti canceled. The rest of Super Massive retreating. It is a one-for-one one support for jungle. Super Massive. Happy to take that one. But still, back one. maybe he can get something done, but it's going to be tough. Edge of Night is there for Karzy. He's going to need a different spell to open it up, and still they've caught him out. Kakao's in trouble. He's going to try to take himself out to safety. All of the damage coming in from the CC Ultimate. Sight not knocked up and knocked down. Supermassive on the way in. Kaiser on the chase. Mad Lions, this is their position to end. Bolulu has to run. The wave crashing into the mid lane. They've got the supers to back them up. Supermassive may not have enough time to regroup, recollect themselves. Some flashes available, but Zaynot already dead. Snowflower up. They don't really have a lot of damage. They have to focus on clearing the waves, but it doesn't seem like they have enough left in the tank. Bolulu still has yet to die this game. Our boat now going to be leaping in. They're trying to find the follow-up, but the calling just does so much damage from Humanoid. The follow-up is there for the Mad Lions, and in Game 2, Mad Strike back. They will not go quietly out of this tournament, even as EU's fourth seed. They will find their first win in this series and tie it up 1-1. One eventually. We have two questions coming into the series, Dracos. How do you protect Balulu from Humanoid? And how do you protect Shadow from Kakao? And Mad Lion... JBO Việt Nam, đỉnh cuối đỉnh. JBO Việt Nam, đỉnh cuối đỉnh. Truy cập ngay jbovnn.com